right, just about to head to studio now. Last vlog today, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I'll talk more at the studio. Oh, it makes it easier. Right. Right, last vlog today. So, vlog 60. It's been pretty mad, to be fair. I'm just gonna load up the computer now, and then we'll go through pretty much the new plan and everything I've been doing. Uh, but yeah, pretty mad. Pretty much done this for, well, I'm gonna say it's been a bit longer than 60 days because obviously there's been some days that I've missed, like the last three days that I have missed. <clears throat> I'll explain in a second, but. All right, so let's do a little recap. So basically, these are the views from the past 28 days since, well, I guess it's technically got to be 90 because it was two months, but. So you can see where I started posting pretty much every day, which is about here. Um, maybe a bit before? Yeah, maybe a bit before that. And then, yeah, about 1,300%. <laughs> so it, it's done all right. Like, <clears throat> my throat is fucked. Right, <laughs> so as you can see, basically some got a thousand views some did all right but overall it definitely got some attention it nearly got me like 500 subscribers i think in total with those vlogs um so it's not too bad not too bad it'll always be there but i mainly do think it'll be valuable once i have you know made it so to speak or i've got more of a following where people can go back and really look at the like nitty gritty shit that i did I obviously, to be fair, recording daily is quite difficult to really capture your day. Especially with some of the bits that I can't show or stuff like that. Or like bits that is like I don't really want to get on film or I don't want to, you know what I mean? Or it's like admin-y stuff. That's the main thing. Or it's like where I'm actually doing stuff on the computer where it's, like it's a bit boring. I'm not really sure how to make that interesting. But like I say, I mainly did this for myself. Um, it has benefited the channel by doing it. And it also, as you've seen before, it's made TikTok go crazy. Because I did, I also did daily with TikTok and TikTok really kind of worked. So I've got like a bubble in my throat. I think I've got hay fever or something. Just doing me in at the minute. And we go to all analytics, view all. So if we look at the, so that's in the last seven days, which everything's gone down a little bit. It's because I had a really good video the other day. And that's kind of why all these metrics are down. But on average, we probably get about 11K views per day. Currently, that was 13k, 11k, 12k, 11k, so about 11. Uh, and if we do 28 days, which is, well, I've been posted for 60 technically, so, but yeah, that's how many post views in a month. Profile views, comments, likes, shares. That's the graph for views throughout this whole period of time. One day got to 22,000 which is pretty mad. So, uh, 60 days. Yeah, you can see where I started posting every day. So, the whole point here is to take away anything. Just start doing it. I didn't feel ready doing any of this. Obviously, the YouTube didn't blow up massively, but the TikTok, I've gained nearly 1,500 subscribers in that time, uh, followers during this time, and got way more engagement. I actually have like a like certain people that comment back on the videos i've made more music connections from it i've started giving uh, away free things and making an email list and growing that so just by starting and doing rather than procrastinating and just sitting there i've got things done yeah it was hard and i'm still going to continue with tiktok daily that's not going to stop um youtube will but the new plan with youtube is to basically one tutorial a week definitely and then I think I'm, I'm still gonna record my day to day. I'm still gonna record that, uh, but put it into a weekly thing. So it's better edited. Uh, and then go from there and see kind of what, how that's like and see if I can do better that way. Um, Cause one thing about the dailies, I hated rushing it. Cause sometimes I'd be doing so many different things. Cause obviously if you're making beats, having to make content, having to wear all these different hats, it takes away from everything else. But I just wanted to add as well that obviously doing all this stuff <clears throat> doing all these challenges and bits like it's a lot of work it's, it is hard and if you do want to do it yourself and you just want to get out there and get things done then it's probably going to take a lot of sacrifice i know a lot of people procrastinate and they struggle with getting things started because 
there's so many things to do when you start you know just but honestly the best advice is to just start i might do things a bit unhealthy i'll be honest like, i do prioritize work over a lot of different things i sacrifice a lot of things socially um and that's just something i struggle with but at the end of the day you've got to ask yourself do you really really want it because the main reason i do what i do now is so that i don't have to do it as much when i'm older whether or not i'll actually stop i don't know uh because i'm very ambitious but that might go away when i achieve what i want to achieve but who knows all i know is that i've got to work very hard now because if i don't work hard now then by the time i'm 30 or 40 i'm just gonna have to do it anyway otherwise just live that nine to five lifestyle and i don't want that i don't think anyone truly wants that so you know put in the effort now not necessarily don't just have to be music that can be anything you're passionate about really i think if you're passionate about something you should work hard at it now and take risks now rather than just waiting around like what i just said to you like 40 years old or something like that and then think do it then because you will have so much more responsibilities you might have children you might have a house you might have girlfriend wife boyfriend whatever it is and i don't know a lot of people don't understand it especially if you're similar age to me you're 25 like i'm 25 or you know a bit younger all the younger people probably won't understand it and won't understand what you're doing even your family might not understand what you're doing they'll be like oh just you know live your life and stuff like that but thing is if you live your life now and you don't sacrifice anything you don't put in the work and the put in the time for anything that you actually want then by the time you're 30 you're 40 years old yeah you might be happy with what you've got but that's all you're ever gonna have it's gonna be very difficult to get out of that um and for me i don't want it i don't want that you know i want to live a good life so i put in the work now uh but yeah it's a tangent again um so but yeah pretty much just wanted to update on that last vlog anyway so but yeah i shall see you soon this is a collection that you must be able to go and look at forever I'm never gonna get rid of it I'm just gonna leave it on there so um yeah in five years time if a million people are watching this this is where i started don't know where i will be right now but definitely be further on so yeah